fortunately, these guys are making probably 100,000 times more than what I made. But I saved a lot of guys' careers and a lot of uh, wealthy guys that uh, all the DAs got their own airplanes and stuff where I still have to take the bus. Why did you think it was a joke? Well, it's a glorified pitch hitter, to be honest with you back then. Uh, nobody ever thought that the D's was ever going to be in existence uh, 38 years later. It was, a it was basically a, a, a pitch hitter. But if you look at it now, it's a, it's a position player. It's, it's uh, I think it's great for the game of baseball. 50% uh, of the people love it, 50% of the people hate it. So that's why it's a very, very controversial thing. And that's why uh, the DH, where I wrote my book, is designated Hebrew. And uh, the DH, designated hitter, they can never take it away. Should there be a place in Cooperstown for a player that's been a DH? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You know, you, you look at relief pitchers. Nobody thought relief pitchers are, should be in the uh, Hall of Fame. Uh, one day it will be. Uh, I think Edgar Martinez probably may be the closest guy. Uh, you look at Reggie Jackson, you look at Paul Molitor, they had more home runs. And, you know, and it gave them uh, a lot more opportunities to get into the uh, Hall of Fame. But I, I think there will be eventually a uh, uh, somebody from the DH. Oh, absolutely. I, I think the closest is going to be probably Edgar Martinez. Last question. Do you remember your first plate appearance as a DH? Uh, against Louis Tiana Walk. Uh, we lost the ball game 15 to 5. But uh, it's there, and they're never going to take it away.